shite. Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the Gamate, or the Gamate, or Gamate, or uh, Gamete. Uh, mainly, we're just going to be having a look at this console right here. This is going to be continuing on in the retro handheld extravaganza series I'm doing. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really weird little console. Um, and I'm quite excited to, to get into this. I paid quite a lot of money for this. Came all the way from Saudi Arabia. It was listed as uh, new and, well, it was opened apparently once for photos. Um, unfortunately, I live in a, on an island called Jersey. Um, and obviously there's New Jersey in America, which you're probably more familiar with. Uh, and this got sent there before it got sent to me. So it's quite severely damaged, uh, as you can see. It's quite a lot of damage. Uh, there's also some damage on the uh, the insert as well, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, so let's just get right into it then. We'll have a look at the, the box. So at the top here, we've got uh, Gamate, I guess kind of similar to the, the Game Boy, which has that grey bar going up the side. Um, and I guess, this, again, this is meant to be a play on game and mate, like Game Boy. Um, but obviously it's come out horribly wrong and says Game Mate. Um, so we've got the official Game Mate seal of quality, which is very relieving, if I'm honest with you. Um, then we've got the compact video game system. Attached is the, uh, the game system console, which is always good. Um, it was attached with just a piece of sellotape on the back there as well. Uh, Stereo headphone, so there's only one headphone. Uh, manual, the Gamate card, business card I assume, and four AA batteries. The, the, incidentally, the, the batteries couldn't be sent to me from Saudi Arabia, um, although it did apparently have sealed batteries. It's even got the tape on the bottom, how nice. Portable, comma, handheld design for easy carry with. That's great, you know, you, when, when you get your iPhone, the first thing you want to make sure is that your iPhone is easy carry with before before anything else, before specs. iPhone 7 was not easy carry with, quite big. Um, on the back, uh, we've got dot matrix STN LCD. Not entirely sure what STN stands for, maybe standard or something. Um, but yeah, it's just the same. It's just the LCD type, just like the Game Boy. Interchangeable with, comma, many game cards for different programs and exciting fun. Exciting fun, that is the best kind of fun, exciting fun. Can be played alone if you have no friends, or linked with cable for two players at the same time. Revolutionary, that. Uh, we've got some pictures of Bullstorm, Shitty Tank, I assume, uh, Enchanted Bricks, Tennis, and With Appy, or Witty Appy, Witty Ape, um, not entirely sure. Portable handheld design for easy carry work. Use four piece of some three AA batteries or battery pack or AC adapter. So lots of different options. Made in Taiwan. Game card locking mechanical design for safety protection. So no one knows what that means. We've got some pictures and screenshots on the side there as well. We've got our... Uh, what does that say? There are many different programs for Gamete. Very nice. And then this side, we have some advertisements for the link cable, the AC adapter, and the stereo headphone. So yeah, that's pretty much it then for the box. Uh, quite an interesting box. I think they've actually done a really nice job on this. It looks really, really nice. No sort of Tetris rip-offs going on it or anything like that. We've got like a, I don't know, Pac-Man-esque game on the front there maybe. So uh, I'm going to zoom the camera in and we'll have a look inside the polystyrene cube. Okay, so this got this got slightly damaged as well in the post, which is a bit disappointing, but uh, it's all right, it's not too bad, I guess. Um, so yeah, we flip the, uh, the top off and then we've got the Gamate operation manual. Apparently this was actually sealed and never owned. I can still see that it has the screen protector on the on the screen there as well and it's still in the original bag, which is quite cool. So I'm going to be breaking that seal today, oh my god. Uh, so operation manual on the back, things to remember. We'll read a bit of it. Uh, before inserting and removing game card, make sure that power is off. Do not unnecessarily turn the power on and off as this will shorten the life of your batteries. Insert game card firmly but take care not to exert undue force on the gamete body. I think that's uh, just a life lesson actually in general. Um, keep game cards stored in their cases for protection when not in use. Insert only gamete cart into the game card slot. Don't use or keep the machine in extremely hot or cold places. 
the LCD display's response may become slower or may not work when the temperature is low. The liquid crystal deteriorates at a high temperature. Take care not to expose the machine to direct sunlight for a long time. Um, I mean, a, a great little manual there. We've got some, some images inside. Um, if you guys want to read that, then feel free to pause the, the, the screen and have a look. I'm not going to go through and read it all because it'll probably take a while. But uh, yeah, there you go. Hopefully you guys can, can read that if you want. Specifications, actually, that's quite interesting. Wow, it's actually got all this. Uh, that is very cool. Credit where credit is due. That is actually really neat. I'll put all of that in the description as well if you guys want to uh, to read that, as I do with all of my retro handheld extravaganzas. Well, most of the ones that I can be bothered for anyway. So, the uh, the little manual then, because it comes with a game, uh, Cube Up, uh, which I assume is going to be Tetris, let's be honest. Focus, there we go. One player strategy card game. Uh, introduction. <laughs> Cube Up is something different from what you're used to play. Without shooting or bombing, it's not less exciting, but more fascinating and challenging, for it is a challenge of your... For it is a calling of your IQ. It does require good skill in combination and permutation. Cubes in different combinations are dropping to ground continuously, to the ground continuously, and you have to rotate these cubes and then pile them in the best way within a short time. When you've successfully piled cubes to form horizontal lines, so you're, what you're saying is it's Tetris. It's definitely a Tetris copy. Bloody hell. That staple looks healthy. Um, yeah, it's Tetris. <laughs> that wasn't uh, really needed to be said, did it? It just, uh, just is Tetris. So yeah, this is the uh, the little game carts. Then again, I actually think these are really, really cool. They're not like trying to rip off the, uh, the N Nintendo's carts or anything. It's got some weird liquid going on there. It might not work, so we'll have to give it a clean and see. On the back, we've got uh, some writing. If it focuses, Jesus, the, the autofocus is slow today. Don't bend or drop. Don't touch golden finger by hands. Keep away from heat, water, static electricity and direct sunlight. Please put in the storage after use. Gold finger. So there we go. There's the uh, the game cart. These are these are our stereo headphone. What the hell has happened there? Is that covered in like little knits? I'm gonna just go ahead and put that back and. Never touch that again. So here's the console then. It looks really, really nice. It feels quite nice as well. It's still got the uh, pr the plastic protector on the screen, which is which is nice. The D-pad feels all right, to be honest with you. A and B button feel really, really nice. Start and select are nice rubberized buttons. We've got a nice big speaker up on the top here. On the back, we've got our serial number, made in Taiwan. And then we have some uh, little bit of detail here. We've got our quality control pass. Uh, we've got four batteries going on at the back here, uh, so kind of similar to the uh, Game Gear. On the top, we've got a contrast, external connector, which is just like a little cover. God knows how you'd even go about getting that out. Got our on and off switch, got our game cart slot in the back, phones, DC in, and volume. It looks really, really nice to be honest with you, and it feels solid. So I'm going to go and get some batteries, and we'll play a bit of cube up. But let's see, so the game cart goes in here. Does it stick out a little bit at the top? It doesn't quite feel very solid, that's not massively reassuring. Switch it on. Fiddle with the contrast somewhere. Bloody hell. Well, fiddling with the contrast hasn't really helped. God, this is hard. There we go. That'll do.
one eternity later. very very painful to be honest with you uh yeah the gamete thanks very much for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next video